Hey, collective. It's your girl, Stacy. <laughs> Here to do a quick energy read for you. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. May that resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, guys, let's see what we can find for you. Let's see what messages I'm going to come through for you. I know there's some want to come through, but it's just about me finding. You know. Okay, we'll go with the sign of the times to start it out. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. How y'all doing today? Happy Wednesday. Today is September 4th. Okay. Spirit, what's the message for the collective? Somebody could be looking into something, trying to find out some kind of information. I see a hermit next to the magician. Somebody's trying to see how you do things, how you how you make things happen. Okay, someone could see you as very intuitive, like very magical. Okay, they see you very uh, you're a manifester. That's what I heard. Well, we got yield. Mm -hmm. Use caution. With the number three, that's giving me the energy of collaboration. So use caution with, um, you know, with the energies around you, who you allow into your energy. All right. Don't try to rush things. Um, I'm hearing all that glitters ain't gold. Okay. Spirit. Yeah, do your research, Spirit said. Okay. Somebody could be trying, coming to bring you an offer, a page of cups. That's the second page of cups I'm seeing here. Go another one. And there's another one right here. Somebody could be walking away from a situation because I've seen the Eight of Cups underneath that. And, and look, they go to Chariot. Yep, something not working out. Yep, it could be a marriage. Okay, take the high resonance. What we got here? Somebody's destiny. 18 could be significant. March 18th could be significant. Somebody's destiny. Ooh, disruption, lightning. Yeah, something's about to come tumbling down. Something about your achievements. Nine. Didn't I say somebody was trying to figure out how you how you doing, what you're doing? It's like if you're on your own business, it's like somebody trying to figure out how you what do you do to survive to keep your stability going, right? They wanna know. Yeah, because you've got a lot of achievements coming and you could have a lot of hope, okay? You bring hope, you give hope, fun, heart, you love people, your love for people, right? This is a journey that you chose, right? Somebody sees that you're on your journey. Mm-hmm. They try, they try to figure out how you're manifesting, but what they're finding out is you're on your journey with this chariot energy. And somebody wants to come in and bring you some kind of offer, a cup, a message. I don't know what it is they got in the cup. All right? But somebody wants to bring you something. We're going to go with, <coughs> with these. Let's see what this person is trying to bring to you. Mm -hmm. Spirit said that. With man, if y'all can see the cards the way I see, I, I got a hermit that's got his lantern up over an eight of cups, right? So somebody could be trying to figure out why you walked away from a situation, walked away from a um a group, a friendship, or a family. So because it's the eight of cups, right? You're releasing all of that, you know. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm telling you, look, the ace of cups in reverse. Somebody's trying to figure out why you walked away from a, from a certain uh, group of people or an environment or a family situation and how you're manifesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Spirit said use caution. Be patient. Destiny is unfolding here, and this disruption is part of your destiny. 41 could be significant. 14, 
81, 18, 3. Somebody's birthday could be March 18th. They could be 41 years old. Okay. Look. Got to make a decision. Mm -hmm. You could feel bound to both situations. You could feel some kind of roots or some kind of foundation or a tie to both the situations. Whichever choice you make, you got to make a choice, right? But I feel like there's some kind of loyalty or connection to both of them. Some kind of soul tie, right? Or it could be a karmic tie. It could be any kind of tie. But you got to make a decision. Hmm. Spirit. Yeah, the Spirit is telling you to be cautious, you know. Use your intuition. Look, four cups. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. Evaluate, you know, the, the relationships. Mm, we got the three of cups in reverse. Mm. That's a rejection. Queen of Swords. Yeah, standing in your truth. There it is. Could be about a King of Cups in reverse. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, I see you. I see you're in the energy of trying to figure out which way do you go now, you know? And I feel like you're evaluating your relationships too because there could have been something that happened with uh, people collaborating around you because you got four cups here and then you got three cups that's turned upside down. All right, that they that this was a collaboration of three people. They got together to do something, right? Maybe to try and block your destiny, to do something around your destiny. But it backfired, and then now we got a tower here. Mm-hmm. And you, you're the queen of swords. It's like I told you. Oh, spirit said, "Nope, you just sitting back watching." Look, look. Well, it's actually this way. It's like you just sitting back watching. They like this though. You ain't saying nothing because you know the truth. You knew the truth. You standing in your truth. Right? You stayed loyal to your path. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a towel. There's a towel here. And you ain't moving. You're allowing it to fall. Yes, sir. You're allowing it to fall. We got a king of cups and a nine of swords. Listen, whatever they tried to do, whatever they tried to concoct, it only push you further away. See your spirit guides guiding you out the way? Mm-hmm. Getting out this king of cups in reverse his way. This person was betraying you in some way, shape, or form, but they're caught, though. They're getting exposed about this. And they got somebody behind them that urged them to do it and knew that they were going to get. Well, I'm not going to say that they knew this person was going to fail at this. Maybe they did. But they had definitely had some kind of demonic energy pushing them to do this. And this and whoever this is or whatever this is, they just sat back and watched. You feeling me? It's almost as if somebody, somebody uh, used somebody as a. Test dummy. Come on, spirit. There was a lot of swords here. Somebody was using candle magic. Somebody was burning black candles. And with each candle, they were, they were trying to put swords in different situations in your life. To create chaos and confusion and blockages for you. Yes, they did. Swords are motions, movements, right? Actions. Yeah, they wanted to block. <clears throat> they wanted to block all any kind of actions you were taking. This King of Cups in reverse. They didn't want you to have any kind of forward movement. Listen, I'm trying to tell you something. Yep, and you made a decision to move. Whatever they did, it broke your heart. Damn, they go three of swords on the three of cups. They cause a lot of conflict. In your life, this person does a lot of souls. I don't know if this person um, influenced people in your life, okay? If this person gathered together with other people, yeah, they can't see you. They're trying to see what's going on with you, but they can't see. They're trying to see who your lover is. Wow, they, listen, somebody wants to see who your lover is. This person want to know who you're, who you're dealing with because you ain't dealing with them because they know they broke your heart. You're the reason they left. 
and they know that you know why why they left. You know about this third party. Yes, sir. And you were guided to move away to calmer waters, even though you still had swords in your back. You still left. You took that shit with you, and you turned and you transmuted it. The magician. There you go. People trying to see how you take that heartbreak, how you take that betrayal, and you still turn out okay, right? That it didn't break you. That it didn't make you bitter, right? Ooh, wee, come on, spirit, because you're the queen of swords. Mm, yeah, really, you're empress. If you ask me, you're the magician. You took those swords and you used those swords to build yourself up, to create a foundation. You took them them damn swords, you analyzed and you melted them down and you making yourself a new foundation, a strong, solid foundation. You'll never, ever be betrayed like you were betrayed this time, ever again, because you learned that lesson. You learned, you watched, you know what I'm saying? It's like you watched the enemy's moves so that you could learn their tactics. Come on, Spirit. 11 11. I ain't lying to you. Listen. I, what, I, what I heard was you gave them a dose of their own damn medicine. That's what I heard. Six of Pentacles. They want to know who the fuck is giving to you. I told you they're trying to figure out how you manifest and how you stand afloat. How are you still, you know, sitting in this Queen of Swords status? This is somebody with a big ass ego, but they're very immature. Okay, this is somebody that thinks they're smarter than everybody. Right? They think they're very slick. They pride themselves on their trickery. Come on, spirit. Queen of Cups. Queen. Well, I keep saying Queen of Cups. This masculine could be in feminine energy. <clears throat> this masculine could be in feminine energy. Very bitter, very uh, fake. All right, very, uh, mm. I feel like it's like somebody, somebody's like a woman, a gossiper. That's what I'm picking up, a gossiper. There's somebody that likes to gossip and always, you know what I'm saying, like a woman would. Ugh. I hate a man like that. I really do. Get it, man, listen, get out, get out my, stop, get out my lane, <laughs> right? Get out my lane, stay in your lane. You don't like it over there in the men's section? <laughs> you don't like it in the men's section You know what I'm saying You want to come over here and try to control my lane mm. This is somebody that Very bitter too Very egotistical This could be an older gentleman King of Cups Alright mm. This is a cold hearted person This is a person very cold Very you know ugh, this, this is a mean spirited energy I'm telling you this person is heartbroken too. Let me tell you that because you because you had because you had to right move away. This person is heartbroken. Whatever they did, whatever they was trying to do to control your movements, to control you know your relationships. Yeah, they regret that shit because they somebody got caught. Somebody got caught. The sun came up on somebody, or somebody got was seen, and they trying to hide their face. They trying to they ashamed. They're ashamed. And it ain't that they're ashamed of what they did. They're ashamed because they got caught. And people know what they've been doing. Wow. And that's what makes them ashamed. You know what I'm saying? That that they stoop to, to this level of doing something, you know, inorganic, right? To try to create um, an outcome that they wanted, right? But whoever they collaborated with, that shit backfired. That shit, did, yeah, that shit backfired. Because, see, they was fuck, mm, they was messing with God. They was basically telling God he's wrong. Right? They basically telling God, I wanted to go my way. This is how I wanted. God said, that's not how it's going to go down. Because this is a destiny I picked for my child. You, man, listen, y'all already know who's in charge. Some people don't. Some people still don't understand, right? That all that that planning, that magic and shit, and going to those 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 workers and and voodoo workers and all that shit to get things done. Don't y'all know that God's in charge? God gave them the energy. God gave them the gift. 
Ain't nothing going past him. If he allows it, it's because somebody deserved it. But if it don't, you understand, you're going to have to pay for that shit. Because if the person that you send that shit to don't deserve it, it ain't happening. Now somebody, now people are going to see somebody for their egotistical ways. For how they're so fucking controlling. My way or the highway. It, it, somebody got a bruised ego, okay? Because they can't control you like they control other, other people. You were too smart for this person. You were too, in your own emotions, you were too grounded for this person to do those manipulative things on, to you. But what they did was they collaborated with people around you, people that you cared about. That's the Eight of Cups. You hear me? And they collaborated to come against you. And you already know what I said about that. If any of your friends or family slide to the other side with the ops, they, are, they had underlying issues against you anyway. Period. Because if somebody loves you, they're not going to turn on you for no dollar, for no drug, for no ass, or nothing else. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. This could have been somebody that was very in and out of your life. Okay, very flighty energy, inconsistent energy. Um, don't care about your feelings, you know what I'm saying? Very... Running around, this was like, uh, come on, spirit, I heard it, I heard it, heard it. Community property, come on, spirit. This to my was community property. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, and they stuck in it. They don't, they don't build, they don't build a wall around themselves, bars around themselves for the actions that they took against you to try to burn down your house. Their house is burning down. And look, you see how their hands are bound? Spirit got them bound. They can't do shit. And they can't see either. So if they're trying to spy on you in some kind of way, in divination or otherwise, they're not being allowed to see anything. Come on, Spirit. They're not being, they're not being allowed to see anything. And whoever they're working with. Now, I think this is somebody that's been doing something on their own. They might have been uh, instructed on how to do some shit. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But it was definitely to try to block your movements. To try to block your forward movement. Listen, they did that shit. They did it. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Listen, they wanted to cause an ending. I can't make it up. Yes, they did. They rushed in and they did that shit. Look. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Five of Cups. They wanted you to be heartbroken. They wanted you to be broken. That's the sad part is like they wanted you to be broken. They wanted your heart to be cold and closed like them. Because, see, this is somebody that was heartbroken by somebody. But they couldn't control you. You you brought that tower in this person's life. Somebody could be getting ready to go, toward, go through a spiritual awakening. Mm-hmm. Yep, because they attacked you. They created endings in your life. With these five of cups, they could have caused a lot of uh, relationships to to be broken. This this is somebody that broke a whole home up. I feel like, or a community. Look, eight of pentacles in reverse. Look, yes, they did. They prevented people from collaborating with you, working with you, building with you. Damn. What's behind that? Look, nine of pentacles. And now they're wondering how you still afloat, right? Because you ain't got nobody. Look, you ain't got nobody. Don't nobody work with you. Ain't nobody collaborating with you. Right? Mm-mm. You by yourself. Mm-mm-mm. They don't put them back like it was. Look, it didn't work. Hmm. Spirit, what's the message? Mm, that's a lot of shit upside down. I seen the Queen of Pentacles upside down. Listen, your strength. Even with or without the relationships, you were still strong by yourself. 
You have an anointing on your life. You're a guide. You hear me? You guide those others into judgment. You see that, right? When you come on the scene, people expose themselves and then they go under judgment. Somebody didn't know that. Somebody should have should have been more cautious in how they approached you, how they treated you. Mm -hmm. Somebody should have been more cautious, mm -hmm. because when you pray, they become they come under judgment. Yeah, you're you're somebody that leads people to to judgment to the light. Come on, spirit. Mm. And when they get there, you already know they have a choice. They can repent or not, because God gives you free will, right? Listen. There were another eight of cups in reverse. No, no repair, no, no fixing it. You know what I mean? Mm, 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 the moon, and they did it under the moon. They did it in secret. Look at that. They wanted to create um, obstacles and challenges for you. Ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, listen, but listen, it didn't work. You're sitting in the ten of pentacles. You all, you was already at the nine. They didn't want you to have that ten. They wanted it to be a burden for you. They want if you if you do. They, listen, you got you're in the nine of pentacles right now, and they want to know how you're doing it, right? But they damn sure don't want you to have nobody to help you, so you can end up with that ten. This was what they wanted. They wanted this this ten of pentacles to be a burden for you, too much for you to carry, too much for you to 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 want to go towards. They wanted to make it hard for you to get this, so you give up. Come on, spirit. Ooh -wee. So this has been happening like over time, right? This is something that has been going on over time. Wow. This person could this person or these people could have caused a lot of endings in your life, a lot of relationships, a lot of people to walk away from you. Wow. Look at this. Come on, spirit. What's the message? The Queen of Cups. Listen. They wanted people not to give to you. Look at this Queen of Cups. You see, she she got one foot in there. She got a hand over her cup. Right? 22-22 when I said that. And then you got the Six of Pentacles. I'm trying to see if she was, what team she on. She an op or she was this you. Because we already got the King of Cups out here in reverse. And this is in the upright. So this is you. This is you. Yeah, they secretly wanted people to walk away from you. Not to give you. Not to offer you any love. Mm-hmm. To breadcrumb you. That's what the Six of Pentacles is, right? To pour out your cup, to to, to walk away from you. Mm, I, I heard, listen, the sun in reverse, no wish fulfillment. Come on. No victories. Especially when it comes to love. Somebody had it out for you bad. Look at that. Emperor in reverse. Somebody wanted control. They wanted total, complete control over your life. Mm. I feel like you know this, though. You already know what this person has done. I feel like you already know what this person has done. In it. And I feel like you're just you're moving on. You're still walking forward. You're still trusting God. You're still trusting the process. Right? Because God going to handle this. You know, I always tell you when people come against you like that, they don't even understand. They're under judgment. They are, they're, on, they're being tested as well. Everybody's being tested on their integrity, their morals, their values, their character. Every single one of us, every day, we're being tested on how we treat others and how we treat ourselves. Every day. Every day. Every day God gives us an opportunity to breathe. He's giving us an opportunity to change our fucking lives. Right? To repent. Okay. Somebody wanted to play God. Somebody was more so, so much so obsessed with controlling your life that they didn't even look at their own. Right? They didn't even think about what's the judgment going to be for what I did. Because if this 24 or 44 when I said that. Because if this has been going on over time. And if this caused damages to relationships. Man listen. 
Somebody gonna, I'm tired of telling y'all you're gonna pay. I'm tired of telling you. Listen, I'm not gonna keep saying somebody gonna pay for it. You are gonna pay for it. You are. You're going to experience a ass whooping from the most high because first, for the way you treated somebody that was being good to you, right? And second, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Something happened when I was talking. <laughs> All right, spirit said you too much shit. Don't, 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 don't keep it trying to explain it. I mean, I'm getting tired of trying to explain it. Right? Like, please read the Bible. That's all I'm going to say. Read the Bible. That's all I'm going to say. Ace of Cups in reverse. That's what they did. Hmm. Because they felt left out. You see them fish at the bottom of the cup. They felt left out of your cup. So what they want to do, they want to spill your cup. You weren't sharing your cup with this person or these people. Listen. They wanted to turn, yeah, yes they did. They wanted your cup to be poured out. Now, they're stuck in this hermit mode, right? The hangman mode, I always think it's the hermit. Listen, because they don't want to be judged, because look, they don't want to be judged. They Now, they're being made to see who they was fucking with. The empress. Somebody, listen, yeah, they don't want to be on the judgment. Ooh, because they tried to call judgment in your life. That's what this was. They were trying to call judgment in your life. And God's like, no. That's my job. That's way above your pay grade. Who gave you permission? Who told you you could interfere and get in my, in my business? Hmm. The Empress, listen, what's this? Ooh, the Empress, the Queen, the King of Swords, and the, the world closing out a cycle. We already got the King of Swords up here. I mean, Jesus, the Queen of Swords out here, and we got the King in my hand. They both here. Look at that. The Empress completing a cycle. This is who this is who's been playing in the magic, y'all. Look, it's the King of Swords. It's the King of Swords. Look. That's him. Cloaking. Cloaking. Being led by that demon that he's sitting next to, that wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't care. He's cold. Look at the weather. Look at the snow. This is somebody that's cold hearted. That's who's been that's who's who did this. Against an empress. Yes. You could have rejected this person. That's why you got your hand, your legs crossed. You could have rejected this person. Look at that. You ain't got no emotions for this person. You cut this person off. Yes, you did. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you wouldn't listen. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. You cut this person off. You wouldn't, uh-uh. You cut this person off. You knew that this was not somebody for you to invest in. That's who did this. And they're trying to hide. They're about to be exposed. It was the king of swords who did this. Who who created all this, this shit. This chaos. This confusion. This tower. This, this uh, crumbling of a foundation. For somebody. This is the person that made somebody be pushed out. Actually, they weren't pushed out. They were pushed toward their destiny. They didn't even know what they was doing. That's why it's being exposed. See, God uses everybody. Somebody thought they was being slick and trying to control your life. But what they really was doing was helping God get rid of shit and people out of your fucking life. Right? They didn't know what they was doing. They didn't know they was helping the most high. Because like I always say, if people, if people are led astray, let their asses go because they got underlying issues with you. There's envy, there's deceit, there's jealousy, there's something. And somebody's realizing they were just a pawn in this chess game. You hear me? It was all the queen is the only one that can move anywhere around the board. She's the most valuable player. 
player. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to listen. Uh-uh. We got to see what grandma has to say. My, my granny got to say before we get off of this. Because she's going to be a part of my my thing. Now she wants to be sane. Listen to her. Who, who do I look like, boo-boo the fool? <laughs> mm, look, a hard head makes a soft behind. Man, listen. Somebody finding out now that they was just a pawn in this whole game. This ma this was a master's game. This was a master's game. Tell you God, listen, God, he thinks way above our comprehension. He can see things centuries down the line. So he has to, you know, put people in position so he gets his outcome. And if that means using a pawn to get something done, it's what you it's what it is. Spirit, what's this message? What's the message from my collective spirit? Yep, it was this king of swords that's been doing this. I've been creating this chaos in your life and they've been playing in voodoo or some shit. I'm trying to tell you the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. And we got a day late and a dollar short. And as long as I owe you money, you will never be broke. What the hell? <laughs> and look, and it ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. Your identity. You knew your identity. Look, because you pray. And you thank God every day for his grace and his mercy. Come on now. And he give it to you. He shields you. You're a praying soul. And God hears you. He hears you. Hmm. Yeah, this person do smell like outside. Yeah, they've been out here playing in, in dirt. That's what it is. Compliment. This person could really um, like your complexion. Because it's like it's intended to compliment darker skinned people. You could be a darker skinned energy. Like myself. You know. And somebody knows they're a day late and a dollar short. Disappointment over missed opportunities. Due to insufficient resources or being late. Not even showing up, right? As long as I owe you money, you'll never go broke in debt. Someone who promises to pay money, they know they can, they cannot, and may never, and they never will. So you could, this could be somebody that's just a, um, a energy harvester. This is, this could have been somebody that wanted to come in and use you. You know what I mean? Make empty promises to you. Just to get get a hold of your resources. And you knew it. Because you know your identity. It ain't what they call you. It's what you answer to. It's common for people to stereotype and categorize others. But it's essential to understand your heritage and lineage. And form your own identity. This is somebody that they, they had you pegged wrong. They targeted an empress. They uh, Maybe it's your looks. Maybe they thought you were naive. Maybe they thought they were slicker than they thought. Then, then they, you know, you know. Sometimes our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. We take on a little too much. But you're under divine protection, baby. You hear me? A prayer, a phrase uttered for God's grace and mercy. That's right. Yeah. They don't even know they was they was being used the whole time. Yeah. That's right. Because you're a very loving and caring person. You know, a very nurturing person. And plus, and another thing, you're on assignment. All right, don't shoot the messenger. This is... <laughs>